I wish the Fundex were also sometimes good. I'm fine with Fundex not being top tier. And that's just completely fine. I'm just sick of them printing stupid fucking cards that are just so linear and frustrating to play against. I, not Let me rephrase that. I don't care if they're linear. I care if they're frustrating to play against. And Self-Sharpening Sword is very unfun to play against. Secret Passage is very unfun to play against. Cutting Class is pretty unfun to play against as well, arguably. Will Mage be good come expansion? I think so, but it's kind of hard to tell. So many cards are rotating out, and a lot of the archetypes that we see are going to be meta-dependent. So I, I I think that Mage will be okay, but it, it's, it's quite difficult to tell until we actually see what decks people are running. I'm, I'm actually so flabbergasted they didn't, that they didn't touch anything except Nitro Boost Poison. I think, like... It, it, I'm actually flabbergasted, and I'm not trying to be exaggerating. I, I, I legitimately am, am so taken aback by the fact that they thought that they only needed to change Nitro Boost. I, I, I can't understand that decision. I'm, I'm hoping that maybe there's a, some other patch that they just haven't shipped yet, and for some reason they just needed to ship the Nitro Boost one. But like, Jesus. You think two card is tour guide is highly replaceable? Uh, yeah, I don't mind it. I think it's fine, but absolutely it is replaceable. What I mulligan counter thought if I needed to win? Um, most people on ladder aren't playing this deck. Most people on ladder are playing Zoo, and counter thought does nothing against Zoo. You think they're hoping a nerfs plus core plus rotation means they don't have to change anything else? I think that's a poorly optimistic take from them, not from you. I understand that that's what you think is... I think if that's the case, then they are being very, very poorly optimistic. Skull is still a problem. It doesn't matter if Demon Hunter is not as popular as Rogue. Skull is still as, as much of a fucking problem as, as everything else. We will see. I'm not sure what to play yet, honestly. What deck would you have in Classic? I'm not really sure. Hey, I don't know. I haven't thought about it yet. But it, it's not about the power level. It's about how it feels to play against it. And it makes for a very, very poor play gameplay experience. I was gonna plot twist, but because I have the Envoy, I just wanna play the Envoy instead now. should tap first, but it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to play around Salus or Owl or whatever. Most people aren't playing it. and I... It's such an inefficient use of resources to play around it if they if they don't have it. Did Tides of Time quit Hearthstone? I think I saw him playing Battlegrounds at some point recently. But even Battlegrounds, he stopped playing a little bit. Yeah, I really miss Glutnus's. Temp or Broodmother, that's really bad in the, in the mirror because it dilutes the, uh, the prime pool. I might actually wait here before plot twisting so I can go Vectus and then Vulge in the Vectus because then I'll get my stuff going way quicker than they will. So that, that's an interesting thing. Combo decks in general are unfun when you lose to them. 
But I think you can still have interactivity between those decks. The problem is when they kill you on fucking turn 7 and 8 and there's no counterplay. You just... You literally pass 7 turns and then you die. And that's just not fun. And that's what happens with both Mazaki Mage and Notes KDH. Uh, Mazaki Mage is, 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 is rotating. Because all the... Like, Bolt and Missiles are both gone. So that's not really an issue. But OHKDH is still going to be around. They lost zero... They lost Soul Cleave. Which arguably is a tech card that you don't need anyways. So I... Guess we're gonna have to deal with Skull and OTKDH for another year. That's gonna be great. I uh, can't wait for more. Did we give up on the PMA streams? Um, I'm trying to be a bit more cognizant of my getting upset. We'll see how long it lasts. Can I afford to take 16? I don't want to, but I will. And I pull out a taunt minion anyways here, so it's not even that bad. This was the worst of the two to pull. Because now my uh, my uh, counter thought pull gets diluted, but it's fine. Positive physical attitude, eh? I'm not much of a dancer. He commits the second Broodmother. This person has clearly not played the mirror much. Excellent, they tapped the Soul Fragment. <laughs> Excuse me. Actually, not certain. Rattlegore, indeed. So now we can go Vectus Plague of Flames and then Plot Twist Tap. Actually, it doesn't have to be Plague of Flames. I could Hysteria instead. No, that's fine. I do need to start getting the Zero Mana Taps in. And my deck is much, much more high value dense than theirs because I've shuffled <laughs> three times as many minions as they have. I will draw some here, but I think most of the time that's fine. Well, I didn't draw that many, actually. That's pretty cool. This was a garbage one to hit, but that's fine. One of the problems is that I don't have my big removal, but maybe that just doesn't matter. Yeah, it does not matter if I've... We have the zero mana nether. Instead of the Kargath, I'm going to play this to get this ball rolling. Kargath I can play whenever. This I can't play if I'm super far behind. So let's just get this guy going. Increase the prime density so our taps get better. Yeah, buff cards are not dustable. out of my gurgle and then an armor vendor for tempo right now i have more va okay fine right now i have more value at the cost of you know not having the nethers Yeah, 
Yeah, this is where it becomes an issue for me. Because I need to deal with this garbage. I can plot twist and try to hit the Keladon. I don't know if that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Because Vectus is gone, I can afford to play the Cartet. I don't know if I do though. This plus the A drop just seems fine. Um, no, I'll do this. That's unfortunate. He's super diluting his pool, and I don't really understand why. Uh, I mean, this is a clear, so we'll just go for the clear. I could save this, but I'm gonna play it. He only has one nether left in terms of removal. So if he doesn't have his nether here, he's just gonna take it. I'm actually going to play this because it draws me Kenrathod, and I want to ship the Kenrathod. Don't... Okay. So this was about the likely outcome. Here's two hysterias. Yep! save this one for a rainy day. We'll just do this. We've seen both hysterias, so this is good enough. Technically, this is a fatigue match, and right now I'm winning, so I technically don't need to kill him. He has Vectus last card. Unlucky. Oh, he's gonna Vulgin it now too, right? Really? You played the cart? Oh, he hasn't played cart yet. Never mind. I don't have to waste another here. So I think it's this and tap. Very cool. Do I save this? He's guaranteed to have nether. I'll do this instead. Save that for next turn, because it's free. Plague of Flames. Pretty solid use of Plague of Flames because uh, Nether's. A uh, Plague is hard to use, right? Nether's a bit easier because it doesn't require. I mean, you, you need the mana, but otherwise it's fine. Okay, we still have two Kenrathod Primes in the deck. I think we're coming out on top most of the time here. 
You'd like to do me a solid? Thanks, Silverstone. Appreciate it. Okay. Good. He missed because he played a bunch of poopers. Kill the one. Shit. I do need to dump some cards. Fuck me, man. I'm actually gonna dump the ogre. He just doesn't really have spells left, so the ogre is not gonna do much. I know he's nethering this anyways, but ogre is irrelevant. Ogre is as strong as ooze right now. But Ooze is easier to play on a turn, in terms of mana cost. Chooses not to nether here. Oh, is this a Plague of Flames? Okay, the Ogre actually did do something here. Okay, I'm gonna need these, uh... I'm gonna need these Candlethought Primes, please and thank you. These are not Candlethought Primes, unfortunately. Alright, well, Tempo, because I'm running out of cards too now. Good, he missed as well. Yes, it was a mistake. Okay. Good. I actually don't have board space for that, so we're gonna hold off. Uh, do I even need the Kellen at this point? If if I'm in a bad moment, I will need the Kellen, so I should hold off on it. I actually should have traded this. Ah, maybe it doesn't matter actually. I don't get healing off of this, and if I save it and fatigue, I can. But I, I'm not looking like I want to fatigue this game, you know. Three of a kind! Ding, 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 and this one's floating. Excellent. So now we can go for Nether and Canrothod. Oh, baby, a triple! Oh, yeah! Wait, are we losing? Hold up. Hold up, hold up, <laughs> hold up. I know he has a nether, so I can hold this back. Because he probably has to nether this, and then we redevelop next turn when he's out of removal. He does not go for the nether. No! <laughs> it's so bad for me! This is actually so unreasonable. I've held back all my demons. Except for when it got pulled with Vectus. And he's just been playing all of them, and he got the first prime. Ah, yeah, yeah. Ay, ay, ay. I'm losing this game right now. I'm losing this game and it's a problem. It's not gonna give me a an envoy anyways I wanna lose, so it, it's fine. Wait, did he cut second nether? No way. He doesn't run two nethers! Thank fuck. I don't know why I played this one instead of the two mana one, but it's fine. Bah, 